All right, everybody, are we ready? What? Lights, camera. Oh, we ready? What are you doing, Cody? Ready. Why are you playing this game okay. still? Um, Come on, get up. Yes, get up. Okay. Seriously? Come on, come we'll on. Do horses. Turn off the game. Hurry it up. Oh, hey there, bud. What's going on? Oh, not much, you know. Just, uh, you're gonna cook some pasties. Yeah, I ever had one there, bud. Pretty good. Mm. But I can't do the accent. But, like I said, today, we're gonna make some pasties, and um, it happens to be October, October, but, and you know, uh, it's got some decorations up in uh, all that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make a pasty. Uh, but you may be wondering, what is a pasty? Well, a pasty is simply a, a meat, uh, what you call it, pastry, a meat pastry, pretty much. Uh, it came from all the way from England, I believe, somewhere in England. It was a thing, and uh, it was very popular with like uh, the miners or whatever because it was, you know, breaded meat and potatoes and onion and whatnot. So it was pretty easy to carry with you and take you to the mine or whatever, I guess. Uh, they apparently put in their armpits for some reason. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, enough with the history lesson. Let's get right into the making of the, the dough, which we need one egg, uh, one cup of butter, which I think we're gonna use just a little less butter. I think I miscalculated that a little bit. Because this original recipe like uh, amount was made for like a bunch of pasties like 16 pasties and I only want to make like two or three so I tried my best to uh, calculate the amount that I would need for all that and I probably misjudged um, anywho one teaspoon of lemon juice. Why lemon juice? I don't know. It's in there. Uh, one egg again because I wrote it down twice for some reason. Uh, two cups of flour, two tablespoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of salt, half of a pound of beef, one onion, two potatoes. And that's pretty much it. Let's get right into it, shall we? Uh, first off, the dough. I got all the dry ingredients already put together. We need one egg and then another egg for some reason. Just joking. The second egg is going to be meant for something else. Just uh, soon enough, uh, I suppose. Uh, but one egg. Hopefully, my butter's soft enough. And I think it'll be fine. We could microwave it. We got some appliances to help with uh, our cooking because this, of course, is a kitchen and not anything else that resembles possibly a basement. Nope, not at all. This is a full fledged kitchen. We have our lovely microwave here that the plate does not spin. So, if you're gonna microwave something for a long time, you might wanna once in a while spin it yourself and then keep on nuking and we got our lovely toaster here that we're gonna make our pasties in planning on using these little things which you know I haven't tested yet if it'll even fit I just uh, kind of guessed and what you look at that if it's like a glove we got our lovely Xbox here being very helpful because there's actually a mini fridge that you can put some stuff in. We're gonna use it to keep our dough cold and whatever else we need to throw in there. Yeah, 
Ain't this a lovely kitchen? A kitchen that would be in any house, not a basement. We got our dry, dry ingredients. Now we're gonna add the water and the lemon juice. Hopefully that's enough. You can always add some more. Uh, or next to the wet ingredient that uh, it's the secret sauce that makes it all all so good. It's Wor Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. How do you say that? Worcestershire. Uh, tough word to say. But a brand new bottle we just I just bought. Now we put a little bit into the dough, but also into the meat. That'd have been maybe a little too much, but we'll find out. Uh, that finally get to the one egg here. gonna put the butter in. Hopefully this is enough butter. Hopefully it's, well, I mean it's mushy enough. We'll, we'll make it work. We're just gonna have to work it a little harder. And uh, I suppose I'm gonna use my hands to mix. I don't know why I'm using my hands. I mean, I really should have microwaved that butter. It's still a bit, mm, Soft, I mean hard. I mean, it's stuffed enough. Uh, now, I'm gonna put the dough in a bowl. You're also apparently supposed to cover, cover it, or something, and let it grow. Let it uh, do its thing because. Dough does its thing. Let you leave it in a fridge or whatever, you know. So we're gonna do that. It actually, it actually worked. It actually went in there. A little surprised. On to the real fun part. Peeling the uh, potatoes. That's a lot of fun. So come along with me and enjoy the uh, time lapse that I'm gonna film with my GoPro. GoPro, where are you? It's gonna be interesting cooking in this uh, little toaster here. But uh, don't worry if anything bad happens. You got this. That's a good spot for it, right? Right on top of the uh, possible fire. We all got it all put together. Potato, the onion, the bell pepper, and the, the beef, which is just regular hamburger. It's all mixed and ready to put in within the crust and make uh, our lovely pasties, which uh, I guess we're about, about there, ready to uh, roll out the dough and place this in. This is, uh, I think, definitely way too much for what we are about to make. Uh, we'll see, uh, but yeah, I think most of this is going to go to waste. Probably half of it. Who knows? Uh, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Definitely overdid it. Does it look like it rised up at all? I don't know. 
I think it's uh, a little too dry. Uh, before it was a little more moist. I don't know. So we'll see if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We got our dough. I don't know if we should try to separate it into three. Because I think we can maybe make three out of the, these. This dough. Which, I don't know. Let's see if we can get three out of this. Oh boy. This part. So fun. I put those two there. Sprinkle flour all over the surface. Uh, plant it by hand just a little bit. Uh, just trying to work on what I remember from last time I did this, which, which was uh, like a week ago now, I think. Should I bring the camera a little closer? All right. I think we're ready. Let's do this. rolling pin thing, which if I remember, if you see there's these little things that um, kind of help with the height, which I don't think, no, that's not going to work that way. It's not, uh, the board's not long enough here. Oh well. But we don't want to make it that thin, because last time when I made it this thin, it was a little not good. This is not good, so forget I can't quite roll that way. Um, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to eyeball it a bit. We kind of want it to go along one direction, kind of. Kind of want a what you call an oval, not quite a perfect circle, you know. Just a bit of an oval shape you want. We're easily able to pick it from all sides, so we're not gonna have problems peeling it off. We added plenty of flour. Now, to the fun part, trying to figure out how much can we fit on the inside of this lovely pack, pack this little lovely patch of dough. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. Boom, about that much. A little more. I say a little more. Uh, uh, probably should have diced up the, the potatoes a little bit more. Honestly, I probably should have diced it all up a little bit more. Yeah, who, who cares if it's a little chunky? If it's a chunky boy. Okay, okay, no, don't get, don't get all feisty now. Let's put a little more on the edges. This is going to be a long one. It looks like. All right. Does that look like a good enough amount? I'm really trying to be a perfectionist. Perfectionist. Uh, okay. okay. Ah, wish. You know, I watched a couple of videos on how to make pasties, how other people do it. And, um, and I thought this little part would be pretty easy. Let's uh, see how, how we do. But there's a way to kind of pinch. Was it a pinch and a twist? I don't know. There's a nice little design you can do, which I am totally failing. Something like that. A pinch and a twist. I don't think that's it. 
Oh no. I'm feeling my ancestors. Just joking. My 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 fellow Uper brethren and sisters. You know, I really should have looked up and see how did people quite do it, because I could just simply just roll it up. But, uh, wow, that actually turned out decent, I think. But since we're here, put some little, little holes for it to vent out to help cook. Because I find it very odd. Uh, I thought you cooked the meat before, then put it in. But actually, you don't, apparently. Uh, so, we'll see how this turns out. Now, if I could see if, uh, bam, just imagine having three right here, just one, two, three, oh boy, I'm gonna eat good tonight. All right, I think this one's gonna be a little bigger, um, but that's all right. We'll make do, we're totally gonna cook this in that little toaster. You're not gonna put it in a big oven. I think we already uh, got much as we can on here. Should we try this this something a little different? We first uh, pack it in, go like so, because we got a lot of uh, excess crust here. We honestly probably could throw this right back into the other dough. Boom. And now should we, actually we could try the other style I pe that I see people do, which is just take a little fork and go on a dough around, kind of like those little, uh, no crustable uh, PB and J's. <laughs> no crustable PB and J's. Yum. Ain't gonna lie, that doesn't look too bad. All right, I don't know if that's too much. I'm about to find out. Too much, a little too much on that right edge there. All right. I think we're just gonna pan it down around the edges. It's a little thin right here. A little thin, I guess, right here too. All right. Of course, the edges a little, a little too thick. That's all right. Um, we'll give that to the squirrels. And I guess that works. But, uh, man, these pasties actually, wow, they look really nice. This one's definitely the biggest. But we managed to make it fit. Boom. An egg 
is kind of like uh man i was really counting on the word coming to my head just before we were about to get to it but <laughs> yeah it didn't, didn't work out didn't come i was really counting on it but all right anyways i forget what you call this but we're gonna lather the uh, outside with a little bit of a and I hopefully this will turn out as I, I believe it should because I've seen some people do it which I can't quite remember what you call it the egg wash is that, is, is that what it's called egg wash whatever Why are we using our hands? Why couldn't I afford a brush? Bam! If you have a problem with candy corn, who hurt you? It's okay. You can tell me. <sighs> All right, well that's bacon. Let's uh, enjoy a classic, Jack and Daxter. That'll help uh, pass the time. Faces make me nervous. Word is you're out to join the fight for the city. You know, picking the wrong side could be unhealthy. We want to see the shadow. <laughs> Not likely. If you want to join something, why don't you and your pet go join the circus? <laughs> Unless you've got the fur for a really tough task. Steal the Baron's banner from the top of the ruined tower and bring it back to me. Then maybe we'll talk. All right, time for the grand reveal. The um, egg wash, I believe is what you call it, what you put on top of the dough, like as I did. Uh, turned out pretty good. The bottom seems a little mushy. That, hopefully that's cooked. Cooked it about an hour, maybe a little more, I think. All right, let's take our nice fancy knife. Nice and greasy. And that looks cooked to me. Whew, that's heavy. Hella, hella uh, greasy. I think I, I really should have used Chuck instead of hamburger because Chuck is a little less fat. That's what kind of I think made the, the bottom edges at least a little mushy. But rather than that, hopefully it'll taste good. But I'm gonna have to wait a second for it to cool off. All right, then I think it cooled off enough. I can uh, finally try it. But um, I'm really not happy with the the outer edge here. is a little still, a little bit mushy. Yeah, that could have cooked a little longer. I think that might be a problem with the um, the fat coming out of the uh of the meat coming out on the edges and it was just kind of sitting there because it's like the bot center of the bottom was fine it seems so i think it was just too much fat um baking it for a little longer you know probably would fix that so oh well let's uh have a little taste test here and uh see how it is Topping the crust tastes pretty good. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good pasty. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's definitely lacking a lot of flavor. I kind of forgot about probably adding you know, a little black pepper to the meat. Oh, and also probably like gar garlic salt or something like that, you know. 
just to give it a little more flavor. Oh, that on its own is pretty good. I think I like the pepper too. It's pretty nice with it, but of course, the thing that always solves bad tasting pasties is a little bit of ketchup. Still good old tradition. We'll add a little ketchup. Dunk your lovely little beet pastry in there. I'm just not happy with the, how the edge turned out. Still very soft, kind of mushy. Other than that, everything else cooked pretty well. I blame the grease. Totally not my timing with uh, cooking. So I'm going to eat the rest of these pasties. Enjoy a YouTube video. That uh, Frankie on PC uploaded a new Daisy video. That's pretty exciting. Play some uh, Timefall 2. Because I'm pretty excited for Timefall 3. That's totally going to be announced pretty soon, right? Uh, I heard around October 28th or 27th it's going to be announced, right? Right, Vance? Right? It's going to happen, Vance, right? You said Timefall deserves another chance. Anyways, uh, have a good one. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, happy Halloween and...